Welcome to this special video tribute to Jeannie Seeley, one of the most beloved and accomplished figures in the history of country music. With a career spanning over six decades, Jeannie has left an indelible mark on the genre as a singer, songwriter, and actress, as well as a trailblazer for women in the male-dominated industry. From her breakthrough hit Don't Touch Me to her timeless duets with the likes of Porter Wagoner, Merle Haggard, and Willie Nelson, Jeannie's music has touched the hearts of millions and influenced generations of artists. Beyond her musical achievements, Jeannie has also been a mentor, philanthropist, and advocate for various causes, earning her numerous awards and honors, including induction into the Grand Ole Opry and the Country Music Hall of Fame. In this video, we'll take a closer look at Jeannie's life and legacy, and explore the key moments and songs that define her enduring impact. So sit back, relax, and let's celebrate the remarkable career of Jeannie Seeley. Before we begin, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss a single one of our upcoming videos. Marilyn Jean Seeley, later known as Jeannie Seeley, was born on July 6, 1940, in Titusville, Pennsylvania, but grew up in the nearby town of Townville as the youngest of four children of Irene and Leo Seeley. Leo was a farmer and worked at the local steel mill, playing the banjo at square dances on weekends, while Irene was a homemaker who enjoyed singing with her children. Music was a big part of Jeannie's upbringing, and she developed a love for country music from an early age, listening to the Grand Ole Opry on Saturday nights and attending shows at a local venue called Hillbilly Park, where she saw the likes of Little Jimmy Dickens, Bill Monroe, and Jean Shepard perform. At the age of 11, Jeannie began performing on a local radio station in Meadville, Pennsylvania, but had to stand on wooden containers to sing because of her short height and the lack of adjustable microphones. By 16, she was a regular performer on WICU, a local television station in Erie, Pennsylvania, despite being ridiculed by her high school peers for singing country music. Despite the negativity, Jeannie was a cheerleader and an honors student in high school, graduating from Townville High School in 1958 at the age of 18. Rather than attending college, Jeannie took a job as a stenographer at the Titusville Trust Company, where she was later promoted to a secretarial position. She also enrolled at the American Institute of Banking to take night classes, which she later reflected helped her understand the music business better. However, Jeannie grew increasingly frustrated with the harsh Pennsylvania winters and decided she was ready for a change after getting her car stuck in a snowbank and having to walk home one winter day. In 1961, Seely left for Southern California in her MGA Roadster with three friends, where she initially worked in a bank but left to take up a lower-paid secretarial position in Liberty and Imperial Records in Hollywood to pursue her interest in music. There she wrote her first song, Anyone Who Knows What Love Is, Will Understand, which was recorded by R&B singer Irma Thomas in 1964 and became a major hit. She also worked as a disc jockey and continued to write songs for several country artists. Her success as a songwriter led to a recording contract with Challenge Records in 1964, but the label failed to produce any major hits. Seeley then received encouragement from Dottie West and Hank Cochran to move to Nashville to further her career, which she did in 1965. After attending the 1965 DJ convention, Seely got a position on Porter Wagoner's road and television show, replacing Norma Jean. She got a recording contract with Monument Records in 1966 and recorded Don't Touch Me, which was a major hit and earned her a Grammy Award for Best Female Country Vocal Performance. The song also brought her an invitation to become a member of the Grand Ole Opry in 1967. The Seely Style, her debut album, peaked at number 8 on the Billboard Top Country Albums chart. Jeannie Seely, a country music singer, switched to Decca Records and worked with producer Owen Bradley after leaving Monument in 1969. During this period, she recorded her eponymous studio album and made appearances on television programs like Hee Haw and the Glen Campbell Good Time Hour. Seely also toured overseas to entertain the American military. Returning from her overseas military tour, Seeley observed the absence of the U.S. flag during an Opry performance, which led to the display of an American flag on the Grand Ole Opry stage ever since. 
Seely collaborated with country artist Jack Green, and their single Wish I Didn't Have to Miss You became a commercial success, reaching number two on the Billboard Country Singles chart in early 1970. This led to the release of their first studio album and later another studio album entitled Two for the Show. The duo toured and performed at venues ranging from Madison Square Garden in New York City to Wembley Stadium in London. Although Seely's solo recordings had declined at radio, her songwriting was more successful in the 1970s. She composed Leavin' and Sayin' Goodbye, which became a major hit when it reached number 9 on the country chart, and other country artists recorded her compositions during this period. Seely returned to the popularity charts with solo success in 1973 after Hank Cochran reworked the traditional tune May I Sleep in Your Barn Tonight to the country song, Can I Sleep in Your Arms. Seely moved to Columbia Records and recorded spicy and franker material than her previous work. In addition, Take Me to Bed was her last single to make a Billboard chart appearance. In 1977, Seely was involved in a car accident in Goodlettsville, Tennessee, which resulted in her admission to Nashville Memorial Hospital. She suffered several injuries, including a fractured jaw, broken ribs, a punctured lung, and a collapsed lung. Seely eventually recovered from her injuries and reflected on her appreciation for her life. Jeannie Seely returned to her music career in the 1990s, releasing her 11th studio album in 1990 on her own label, and appearing in a music video with Stonewall Jackson Four Trashy Women by Confederate Railroad in 1993. She continued to maintain her presence on the Nashville network and as a Grand Ole Opry member, and her songwriting was also part of her music career, with Lori Morgan recording her composition I've Enjoyed As Much Of This As I Can Stand in 1997. Seely released her 13th studio album, Been There, Sun That, in 1999, and turned her attention to bluegrass projects in the early 2000s, performing I'm Ready to Go with Ralph Stanley on his 2001 album Clinch Mountain Sweethearts and releasing her own album Life's Highway in 2003. Seely continued to tour extensively in the late 2000s and released her 15th studio album, Vintage Country, Old But Treasured in 2011, followed by her 16th studio album, Written in Song in 2017. In 2020, Seely released her 17th studio recording, An American Classic. As well as her music career, Seely has also acted in various stage productions including Talking at Home, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, and Everybody Loves Opal, and she appeared in a production of The Vagina Monologues in 2005. Jeannie Seely, a country music artist, has been married twice. Her first marriage was to Hank Cochran, a Nashville songwriter, in 1969. Seely respected Cochran's songwriting and his legacy in the country music community. Even years after their 1981 divorce, the couple remained friendly. However, in 2010, Cochran passed away from cancer at the age of 74. Seely's second marriage was to Nashville attorney Jean Ward in 2010. The couple lives together in a home near the Cumberland River in Nashville. In 2018, Seely canceled several engagements after Ward became ill, but he eventually recovered. The couple renewed their wedding vows in 2019 during a country music cruise. Seely's home was destroyed in the 2010 Tennessee floods, but she remained positive and credited local volunteers for helping her rebuild. She lost most of her possessions, but chose to focus on the good things in life. In 2022, Seely and Ward were the Grand Marshals of the annual parade in Ward's hometown of White Pine, Tennessee. Seely also celebrated her 55th anniversary with the Grand Ole Opry in September 2022. She has been a loyal member of the program and has made a record number of appearances on the show. Today you can hear her on Sirius XM on her weekly show.